live shot of Bomberito Sky Fox and the Arch and Market Street in downtown St. Louis as one of the biggest, if not the biggest party in St. Louis history is underway. It is our St. Louis Blues Stanley Cup Championship Parade and Rally along with Fox 2 and Fox Sports Midwest as you see the wave of blue that has surrounded all of downtown St. Louis and of course here at the Arch Grounds as they get ready for the rally and of course we have a parade for the 2019 Stanley Cup Champions. <laughs> And a pleasant good afternoon, everyone. Great to be with our friends over at Fox 2, Mandy Murphy, yes, John Brown. Good Great to, to see here. you guys. What a party. Oh, oh my goodness. This is it's so a, exciting. It is, it is <laughs> unbelievable. And, you know, Mandy, first of all, the weather is holding up right now. That's it a good thing. It stopped raining. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Absolutely. And, again, we people have been looking forward to this for decades to see the Blues finally win a Stanley Cup and have this celebration. Tens of thousands of people are pouring into downtown St. Louis, and many of them are right here at the Arch where Charles Glenn and his band have been performing. There's going to be a huge rally right here behind us at the end of the parade and everyone wants to be here to witness history. This is one of the biggest days in all of St. Louis history as we celebrate the Cup and it's going to be coming right here. Yeah, it is such a big day here. We were talking earlier about the crowds. We've been talking about this all week. 500,000 people plus expected here in downtown St. Louis. As we've been showing you through Throughout the playoffs, people have been filing into downtown. 100,000 one night, 50,000 another night. Now everybody's coming down here today. Governor Mike Parson just went by a bit ago. He has named today, June 15th, as St. Louis Blues Day all across the state of Missouri. So it's not just us celebrating, guys. It is the entire state of Missouri and much of Illinois also taking part Absolutely. in the celebration. Absolutely. The entire state. Kansas City had some huge ratings That's for the true. last Blues game. And you were over at, uh, over at <laughs> Ballpark Village where our studios are at. We saw some parties. But <laughs> nothing like the one we will see here today. Folks, we will have the complete parade route covered for you. It's going to start at 18th and Market, which is just about a block or so west of the Enterprise area. There you see where the parade will launch here momentarily. And as we continue to follow east on Market Street, our next stop will be at the Steeple Theater at 14th and Market, our own Martin Kilcoin, Of course, the sports director over at Channel 2 and Erica Weston from Fox Sports Midwest. Tucker and Market, Jasmine Huda, of course, from Channel 2 and our own Andy Strickland from Fox Sports Midwest. West. We go further east on Market Street. We go to the City Garden. Timmy Zell, Lisa Hart, and of course, Channel 11's Rich Gould will be there. The legend. At the City Garden. Oh, and you know that very well during the <laughs> Stanley Cup Finals. And then Market and Broadway. Randy Naughton, I know she's fired up along with Mike Colombo. And then we'll wind down and look at this scene here, People folks. Are, the fourth and Walnut. everywhere. They're on the <laughs> building, Mandy. You name it. And if you've got a spot in downtown St. Louis to see this parade, you're jamming in there so you can get a view. Darian Henderson and Catherine Hassel will be here, and then the guys will stop as part of the parade, and of course they'll make their way to the staging area here where there is still already thousands, and you know, John, I was telling you and Mandy this, uh, we stayed overnight downtown, and people were putting up their tents on market late last night, and they stayed and partied all night long. It was incredible, guys. Yeah, a little behind Party's the scenes. Here. Yes, it is. Behind the scenes, we were getting ready for the news last night at 9 p.m. Rocky Madden said, you won't believe what's going on where I am. He was in this area on Market Street. People were already out there 14 hours before the parade even begins. They were out there with severe thunderstorms in the forecast. Didn't matter. They stayed all night, and they were there this morning, Mandy. Well, right now, Charles Glenn is behind us, and he is getting this crowd fired up. Everyone loves Charles Glenn. He's singing When the Blues Come Marching In. Absolutely. Of course, he's done the national anthem for the Blues for nearly 20 years and is retiring. What a way to go for Charles Glenn, one of the great guys that calls the national anthem in all the National Hockey League. All right, Scott, by the way, this song has now been going on for 15 minutes. He's not letting When the Blues Go Marching right. In. He's not letting it go easy today. Uh, I think sure. we'll hear it a couple more times. Something tells me. Call me crazy. All right, let's go out to Timmy Zell right now. He's with some of the Blues fans out on Market Street. Timmy? Hey, we've got a fan here who has been standing against his whole country. Frank, you've been having to stand against your country. Chara is from Slovakia. Yeah. 